How crime is impacting residents, Richmond's top cop is breaking down the latest numbers tonight. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. The details coming on the heels of a deadly night in the city. 8 News reporter Autumn Childress joining us tonight with more. Autumn. Well, this is the first crime briefing we've had with Rick Edwards since he assumed the role as acting police chief. He says overall violent crime is flat across the city. However, the focus is on getting illegal firearms off the streets. Rick Edwards tonight in his first crime briefing as acting chief. Standing alongside his command staff, he said overall murders in the city are down. In 2021, we had 90 murders. Last year, we had 59. So that's a 34% reduction. However, there was an uptick in non deadly shootings, 256 compared to 244 in 2021. Edward says his department is now focused on the hotspots. A study showed the majority of violent crimes happen in Whitcomb, Creighton, Fairfield, Gilpin, and Mosby courts, as well as the Belt Atlantic apartments. He says when his officers focused on those areas, there was a reduction in crime. We saw a 73% reduction in murder. 27% reduction in murder in these specific neighborhoods. In the Belt Atlantic Apartments, 33% reduction. And an over, overall homicide reduction in, in the city. Also in today's conference, a call to action for gun owners. To not leave your guns in the car, to at least lock them up. Last year, 714 guns were stolen from cars. The majority were from Shaco Bottom, Manchester, and Scott's Edition. Edward says this could be leading to violent crimes. That number is totally unacceptable for us. Just by the very nature that they were stolen, ended up in the hands of, of criminals. Now, the chief also talked about an uptick in property crimes, especially catalytic converters. We have a full breakdown on WRIC.com. Reporting in Richmond, Autumn Childress, 8 News.